welcome to Quick Bites, the lunchtime live stream with your tech integration specialist, Scott Conway. Welcome to today's session of Quick Bites, the lunchtime live stream. The topic for today is going to be copying text from a piece of paper uh, with the Google Lens uh, tool. This actually is not the Google Lens mobile app. It's going to come from the Google app, uh, which I will show you momentarily and how this functions. But uh, it's a neat little tool that will uh, allow you to just grab handwritten text from a piece of paper and convert it digitally to uh, a computer that you might al already be signed into uh, with your Google account. So uh, I'd like to get right into this. Uh, please note if you are joining us live you can always ask a question on the chat bar out to the right of the video and we'll try to get to it by the end of the session. Okay so Today's session is on the Google Lens tool, and this is a tool that came out uh, quietly maybe a year or two ago, and possibly even longer. Um, not really fully sure at this point off the top of my head, but it um, it's not something that's widely known or at least publicized that much, um, this Google Lens tool. And the really cool feature um, that it struck my uh, interest at least was the ability to search for something on the internet using just an image alone and if you recall the Google image search is kind of where this grew out of and uh, it's a really cool tool so if you have something um, and you're really not too sure what it is uh, you can search by taking an image of that item and uh, pull it up. So the Google Lens tool kind of grew out of that and it's expanded to include much more from food and dining to uh, shopping for something online, whether you know, you've know you got a barcode, that's probably the easiest example, uh, to handwritten text like I'm gonna show you today, but also translation. Uh, it can actually incorporate the Google Translate functionality and translate text uh, from whatever language it's in to English. So it's pretty pretty cool, and I, and I imagine it would go the opposite way. So I'll briefly show you that as we uh, kind of move along. But uh, I'm gonna step out of here, go over to my untitled document. Uh, this is the palette where I am going to paste my text uh, once you see me do this. But um, again, this needs to be done from the mobile device. So let me uh, pull this up really quickly so that I can start mirroring this. There we go. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Let's... Okay, you can kind of see this in, in, in front here. I'm going to leave it just like that. Sometimes it kind of blacks out the background, but um, that's okay because we're going to end up showing you both here today. So I'm going to start in the App Store, and uh, I'm on an iPhone, so this is the Apple App Store. Uh, you'd go to the Google Play Store if you were here for Android. If you're on an Android device, this app is probably already on your phone, so they're probably it would be a moot point. But for the Apple users out there, you can go to the Apple App Store and open up the uh, search bar search for Google just like you see in the top there and it's this one that you see right there it says Google search news images video dot 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 um, and right in the middle there that green kind of background you'll see search faster with Google lens and they're showing you the image search so it's a really pretty cool tool um, you would need to install that app this is not the Google Chrome app this is not the Google Assistant app uh, there are a ton of Google apps out there for your mobile device this one is the Google app and you can see that it's just a simple G with a white background. That's the one you need. And when we switch over to that app, this is what it's going to look like. Now, please note that you do need to be signed in to your Google account that you plan on um, scanning the text to and using the copy paste function. So right now I'm signed in with my organizational account. You can see it actually in the dock behind you. You can see it on the screen for the phone in front of you. And uh, because I'm signed into both accounts, this functionality will work. So that is a prerequisite. Now, <clears throat> I am going to show you the Google Lens functionality in this Google uh, mobile app. You know, there are some things down below. I use this just as a quick means to search, uh, and then it 
retains, you can see under recent down there in the bottom toolbar, I can tap that recent button and it will show me all the different pages that I've recently viewed. So this will act and function like the Google Chrome browser in kind of a slim down mobile type way. Um, but really the, the key feature here is Google Lens and you see that it's the box with the little uh, blue dot in the middle um, to the left of the microphone. So we are going to tap that and open it up and now you can see that this is my uh, Google Lens mobile app and you can see on the bottom right or the bottom toolbar across the bottom there as we scroll over there's your dining. Um, you can actually hold this up to a restaurant uh, I'll, I'll, you know, physically standing in front of the restaurant and, and it will scan the restaurant and look for it. Um, here's the shopping portion of Google Lens. And again, point, it says point your items at a barcode. So if we were to pull a barcode from a device, you can scan that quickly. You can also, sorry, um, do an automatic search just by, you know, get, you know, whatever it's going to be it's going to kind of pull it in regardless of what type you're not really specifying that it's food or shopping or something like that uh, then moving to the left we've got the text which we're going to use in a minute i don't want to give it away and then on the far left is where you see translate functionality and you can see at the top here excuse me auto from there you go auto detect to english um, and you can obviously switch this around however you want. So that is a, a neat way that if you're out and about and you need to um, translate quickly on the fly, just pop this Google Lens up and it will translate whatever is in front of you into English. It's really pretty cool. So today, uh, today's session is on the text, handwritten text. And you can see that I have a notepad in front of me and, and it's a yellow uh, notepad t on top of it. So um, I'm just kind of hovering over this and you can see that it's already placing boxes around the text that I hand wrote. Now, I did try cursive. I tend to write in cursive. Uh, for whatever reason, it's more fluid and, and uh, efficient for me. So I tend to do that. But in this case, I've handwritten. It does work better with handwritten text. It did not like my cursive at all, even though my cursive is really nice. Um, it's probably better than my handwritten my script but in this case it really does like script so it's got the text on there and you can see as I get closer it's kind of boxed it in here um, I'm going to actually close this out and bring it back in again to alright there we go you can see it's starting to read the text I can tap on it um, I do want to actually come back and try this again Let's see if I can get more of it to pop in here earlier. It was getting more of it. So you got to kind of hover right over it. And let it, there we go. And I am grabbing as much as I can here. Now it's skipped over a year. It has gotten that in the past. Uh, it does depend on the lighting and the, and um, your settings, but at least it's got most of it here. And you can see right in the bottom there, copy to computer. That's the functionality we want to use. I'm going to say copy to computer and look what happens. It pops up with copy to computer and it can see that I'm logged into three different devices. Uh, my Chromebook, the desktop that I'm on, and then the whatever the other one is. I have a feeling that's my phone and it's just reading kind of weird. Um, I'm on the PC, so I'm going to use the computer guy. That's my <laughs> my PC that I've got. So now I'm going to kind of step away or, or minimize this. And in the background now, because again, I'm, I'm, I'm in my organizational account, the same Google account that I used with the Google Lens tool is the same one that's signed in here. It copied from my phone that handwritten text into the clipboard and also made it available now on my computer. So all I have to do is click Control V and it pastes from that piece of paper. Um, now I had in here request scheduling info from elementary school and then my next line down was send end of year form to secretaries and as you saw in the screenshot, uh, if I can pull it back up, the only thing it was really missing was the word year. And with a little bit of um, kind of tweaking here, I was able to get it in, and, and there it is. So 
again from the screenshot from the steno pad the pad of paper in front of me maybe i wrote notes quickly at a conference or at a parent meeting and i didn't really feel like typing it all in the google app with the google lens tool will allow you to scan that handwritten text copy it to your clipboard automatically send it to a computer where you are also signed in and that could be your Chromebook it could be a Windows PC it could be a Mac doesn't matter as long as you're signed into that other account or that same account excuse me on that other device you can send it to that device hit control V and paste it right here now again I gotta clean it up just a little bit it missed one word I had to kind of format it a little bit um, but a really neat tool it's a time saver if you happen to be somewhere where it's just far easier to handwrite quickly rather than typing and you want to digitize those notes later you can do that and that's the Google Lens tool that's built into the Google mobile app and uh, it's pretty good again cursive I find that it doesn't work too well but um, here we are the Google uh, mobile app uh, let me show you that again from the App Store it is probably already on your Android phone iPhone users go to your App Store grab it Google and then when you come in here it's that little square chrome colored box with the dot the blue dot in the center and that is how you initiate the Google Lens mobile app and then you can scan from there and just tap to grab that again cop copy to the computer we'll say that one and we're gonna come back down here Control V, and there it is. So that is the Google Lens Scan Text to a digital document uh, from your mobile device to another computer. Works really, really well. Thought I'd share it with everybody. Hope you have the same luck with it and, uh, and it, it proves useful for you. Um, again, check out some of the other features it has. It will do translating from a foreign language as well. So I don't see any session or questions for the session today. So we're going to wrap it up there. And thank you for joining me. And I hope you join me in the future.